Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to push your uh, Jax WS Web Service to Heroku. Why you want to watch this video is if you want to learn how to convert the CXF project to Maven. One reason, the only reason, if you want to know how to uh, deploy an application to Heroku, you want to watch this video. First of all, you have a, a Jax WS web service, any kind of web service, in my case it is a CXF project. So if you have a CXF project which is a web service, it's not a simple Java application and you wanna uh, deploy it on cloud and access it online, you have to follow these steps. It's not gonna be easy, it will take some time, but fortunately if you follow the steps, you, will, you can do it in half a day maybe. So first of all, you have to change it to Maven. Remember, your project is a CXF project, but Heroku doesn't know it as a <coughs> valid project. A legitimate project for, for Heroku is a project which is built by Maven or Gradle. So the fuller structure should be the same as Heroku expects, otherwise you cannot push it up. You have to change it to Maven. Second thing you want to do is you want to add the dependencies. So in your project, you will have a lot of jar files. Then you have to tell it, Maven all those jar, jar files, otherwise you know you cannot build it. Then when you specify all your dependencies, then you want to build your project. First you have to do it and build it successfully actually in your, in your local host because usually if you work with Bitbucket or GitHub, if you have any bug in your uh, project, you can push it uh, because GitHub and Bitbucket doesn't care. But Heroku is a production environment and you have to have your project successfully running and then you can push it up to Heroku. So if you have any bug in your system, don't try to push it. And then you want to create a Heroku uh, account and also Heroku account and also when you have the account you have to you want to add the project or app and then when you have the app you want to uh, push everything to Heroku when you want to when you do the push uh, in Heroku if when everything is successfully pushed again you cannot run your application in Heroku because in your local repository you are losing Apache Tomcat you have Apache Tomcat in assault but there in Heroku you don't have it so there is a utility there is a maven utility called web app runner you have to add this utility to your project and then uh, through proc file using the proc file here you can see here proc file in using the proc file tell your uh, Heroku that this application is actually a web service application and what I want you to run it as a web service and on the Tomcat and then after that you can access your uh, project online but if you face any problem remember Heroku logs and then you can get the logs if you see any problem and if there is any error code in the logs you can go to website and check the error list and find out what's the problem in your project so remember all these steps and we're gonna uh, walk through all the steps now you can change your project to maven common line but the easy way is come to here to marketplace and then i already have it in the marketplace type here maven and as soon as you hit it, the first thing that comes up is the Jax AWS Maven plugin. You want to install this um, plugin and then as soon as you install it, it will ask you to uh, uh, reload, reassert the uh, Eclipse and after that you have the option to come here to run as Maven build. Clean your project, build it. Every time clean build, clean build. Don't just build it because it's not going to work sometimes. So clean your project and then, so I can do it Maven clean and then build your project after that. First, at the first time you cannot build it because you don't have all the dependencies added. You have to add the dependencies here in the pom. 
palm.xml file which is the uh, maven file when you open it you have to add all the dependencies that you are using i'm using a lot of dependencies so based on your project you have to decide which dependencies you need starting from here i'm using cxf jacks rs that you probably use it too and then the front end and also the transport these are all required i think you have to add all these things and also i'm using jackson to uh, convert to and from uh, json and xml and also you have to add the bundle only if you cannot build your application and there is something missing and then this the data binding if you have any kind of data binding in your project and then i added this because i couldn't build the project and then you know a spring you don't really need it you can ex uh, accept this one and then uh the transport you know i added the uh, http because i have some uh, a client application also inside my application that access the uh, web service and then these are all the resources which is uh, by default there and then uh, I will show you what these plugins are. One of the plugins is Maven War plugin that will be installed by default and this one I will show you what it is. So when you can build your project through Maven here, uh, you should be able to say Maven build and build successfully. Uh, when you add repositories, you may want to come here and say run as and then say install applications and when you have all when you have uh, all the utilities installed and also you have all the references uh, there you can say maven build don't try to push your application before uh, building su successfully because it's not gonna work uh, if you have any back in your application and you cannot build it here you cannot push it also because when you want to push it Heroku actually builds everything through maven and make sure that your your application is 100% working and also if it's not an, a, a Maven application, again, you cannot push it up. Then you want to come to your Heroku, and then you see here is a new look, which by your time will be uh, the new look. And then come to your personal app, and then say a new app. You want to add the new app to your uh, account, and then I'll say it sample. Uh, test project whatever sample test project one because I already have one and then create app and then when you come to code actually you see it says everything that you should you, you need to do so the first thing is you have to log in to Heroku but before that you have to have the Heroku utility installed in your machine you can come to toolbed.heroku.com if you don't have it and based on your operating system download whatever you need in my case it's windows i downloaded the zip file extracted and installed the exe file and then you you may want to open the command line and then uh, go to your uh, project folder this is my project folder I'm, on, I'm inside the project folder now i say heroku login and then you have to enter your uh, email address and password you cannot see my password of course oops no wrong password sorry okay one more time see the PO awesome so authentication successful the first time you do that yeah it actually create an SSH key and uh, send the public SSH key uploaded to your Heroku account so you have inc encrypted uh, communication between you and your account and then after that uh, when you have the Maven project built you can say okay uh, here it will tell you what you should do I will follow the steps and show you also so we are logged into the system we are in CD we are inside the project you say you, you will say get in it if you don't have uh, already a get repository 
So if you say git init, it will initialize a git uh, local repository for you, and then you you might want to say Heroku, and then git. You want you want to add a remote repository to your application. Remote and then a and then sample test project one i don't i'm not gonna do that because i've already done it it will add this uh, uh link to your as a as a uh, remote repository for you and then you for the first time you want to say get add and add everything you have and then say get commit and then type a message that you want to say or let's say first push and then after you do that then you want to say git push heroku that you just added to your uh, remote repository and then to your master branch okay when you hit it it will uh, push all your uh, application to heroku and it will be successful only if you can run your project locally otherwise it will not uh, go through that in in your activity you can check it and see see you can see what you have done so far and then you have your project pushed to Heroku but still you cannot run it because uh, in your local repository in your local machine you have actually Tomcat installed Tomcat but there in the Heroku you don't have anything like Tomcat so what you wanna you need to do is you need to this this add this maven utility this maven utility actually will work as a uh, tomcat in in heroku starting from here is a plugin to here and the name of plugin is web app runner so remember we are here in this stage web app runner you add this web app runner uh, you can find the code online if you search the code for web app runner and then you will find this uh, configuration that you need to add to your pom to your pom.xml which is the maven file and when you add it you come here and they say run as maven install install the utility and then clean and build and when you can successfully build your application then the next step is to create the prod file this prod file you see it is not by default there so how you create a pro pro uh, sorry uh, prod file you wanna create a new txt file and then include the extension also so the prod file doesn't have any extension prod file like this change the extension yes open it see it doesn't have any extension open it with the notepad and then we have a line of code here that you have to add it to your uh, prog file and this prog file should be you know inside the root of your uh, application in, in the root of your application and this prog file actually will tell Heroku that this application is not a simple application it's a web service so you have to run it on web runner which works as a tomcat okay and then you save it everything so you have uh, all the dependencies added you have you have the utility added uh, see the utility i will slowly scroll up so you can see whatever you need to add in your uh, palm file and then we can build it successfully so you can uh, come here get add get commit and get push everything to repository to uh, heroku after that, when you come to your Heroku, actually in your uh, app, see here, in your resources, you have that line of code. This line of code actually is very important. If you don't do it, then you cannot run your application. Then you may come here to your application. Here, my name of application. The name of application is this. And it will say book service big book store ser service is available book store service is here in, in my cxf file i define the path the address to be book store service and then i have a bunch of uh, services in the resource file i have a bunch of services 
the easiest one is the get books that returns all the books and I have post other other things but the easiest one is to come to books book store service and then say return all the books you can access it also if you are watching this video you can access also and then as you see it's e xml file so it's based on the request you can also ask for json and it will return a json if you say uh, expect json in your header file and also one thing that is very important is the log file well, so what happened for me at the first i couldn't run the application the reason was there was a problem in my settings here this uh, uh, logs are very important so heroku logs slash n and then the number of logs you can ask from one log to 1500 logs so if you i will ask only for five four logs i want to show you how it looks so it will return me four last logs uh, in my system also there is no problem it just said we had this request coming from uh, a client but if you have any problem it will show you that uh, the process is not running and also an error code the error code you, you should come here to Heroku and articles and error codes my case was H14 I clicked on H14 and it tells me that uh, in your case uh, you did a wrong thing in this dinos so I went to my application in the new look uh, here it is see the it is one if it is zero uh, if you come to edit it oops I did the wrong thing I should edit here yeah if you add it more it will charge you if you make it zero then your application is not gonna work so it should be one if you want a free service so I'm not gonna save it so it should be one I found it from here from locks so locks are very important and then when you have all the settings done your you can enjoy your your web service uh, uh, on cloud for free thanks for watching the video I did this video because I couldn't find a good source and it took me a lot of time to find it out so uh, it's easy for you to follow the video and figure out how to deploy your application thank you for, for watching and stay tuned for the next videos